Hi, I'm Katie with February Designs by Kate, and today we're going to talk about sealing your artwork. I'm going to say first, if my eyes look a little crazy, I can't even tell. I had them dilated this morning, so that's all it is. I haven't been sniffing <laughs> the sprays or anything. Um, I get a lot of questions about how I seal my artwork, whether it's on photo paper or canvas or tile, um, wood, whatever I happen to be doing. Lots of different options here. There are a few different um, products that you need. Which ones you choose are up to you. Um, these are the four that I use in different ways. Um, the one that I always start with, mm, always see there's already an exception. Um, if you're going to use Kamar and UV resistant clear, then you start with Kamar varnish and you do follow it up with the UV res resistant clear. Starting with um, several coats of this. You're not, you don't wanna do it super heavy. You want to put multiple thin coats on. And it says it right here the in, in the instructions. I did with my dilated eyes here. Um, read that, you know, it's become kind of second nature to me. Shake the can for two minutes. I admit, I am not good about doing that. One tip, um, the other thing I'm not good about is putting my caps back on. So sometimes this gets clogged up. Go in there and make sure that's not clogged up. Otherwise you can get drips on your painting. Um, they do talk about the proper way to empty the nozzle is upside down and spray it. I've never done that. Um, if you're a rule follower, you will, you'll want to do that. So I typically do two to three coats of Kamar varnish. I know some people do more. If you want to do more, go for it two to three coats, I feel like I've got some pretty good coverage there. Um, and those are on the smaller paintings. Bigger paintings, because I might miss areas, I do tend to do a few more coats just to make sure that I get the whole thing. Now, if you've done the Kamar varnish, you want to follow with the UV resistant clear. I do believe this comes in both matte and gloss. Um, I always buy gloss, and it does not say anywhere else on the can. So if you're buying both and not keeping your caps, you're going to want to write that directly on the can. Again, I do two to three coats. Um, I know some people do many, many more. Um, I don't. It says it's dry in 10 to 15 minutes. Same with this. And that's about how long I wait, um, minimum. I mean, I'm usually doing other things and so it ends up being longer, um, but 10 to 15 minutes. I will, however, wait a little bit longer, and by a little bit, I mean maybe an hour or more in between doing this, the varnish, and a different product. All right. The third thing some people like to add, and I rarely use this now, is the triple thick crystal clear glaze. Um, it says bright glass like coating. That's this. I will tell you, um, I used to use it more and I would get a weird dimpling on it. And when I called the manufacturer, cause I'm like, help me, why is this happening? They said that was overkill doing all three sprays and that I didn't need, need to do that. I'm like, you don't understand. So sometimes I'll put this on. Um, I do still get dimpling and I'm not 100% sure why I do. Um, maybe I'm putting it on a little too heavy. I did do a, a big four foot by eight foot painting and that is what I finished it with and I sanded it and put more on and wiped it. Um, so you can try it. I rarely use it. 
Some people say you have to do all three. So Kamar, UV, and then triple thick. I think just the two is absolutely fine. Now, what do I currently do? I use these because I buy stuff when it's on sale and I've got a lot of it. Um, but my preferred product is this. So it's a Krylon Gallery C Series UV Archival. Um, this is gloss. I prefer the gloss if you want matte. It does come in matte as well. You don't need the Kamar if you use this. That's right. I spray my fresh new dry painting with just this. Multiple coats, um, three to four, just to make sure I've got full coverage. Again, the larger my piece of art is, the more coats I do just to ensure I've gotten everywhere. Um, dries in 10 to 15 minutes, handle after two hours. Don't put your finger in your painting. I've done that. Um, yeah, and I do let it sit at least overnight before I pop it into an envelope just to make sure. So, sometimes two days. Um, I know different people have different experiences. I've had people say they use this and their inks run. I have no idea. I don't know if with all the inks that have flooded the market lately since I've started doing this, um, if they're formulated differently. Um, but my main inks I use are Ranger and Pinata and Epoxy Candy. And this works just fine. If I'm doing my coasters, I'm almost done here. If I'm doing my coasters, all I do is a coat of Kamar varnish because I am putting that UV resin over the top. Resin is a whole different conversation though. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you give me a thumbs up like on this video, if you thought it was at all interesting or helpful, I would appreciate appreciate that. Excuse me. Um, everything's blurry right now. So hopefully it's not for you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.